I grew up in a small town in uh, South Dakota, a town called Phillips, South Dakota. Grew up on a big ranch out there, a cattle ranch, and uh, my parents were both very hardworking people. And I've got three uh, siblings, two older brothers and an older sister. And um, took a took a big interest in wrestling from the time I was five years old. And um, wrestling just seemed to fit the type of person that I was and the type of work ethic that was employed on the ranch and on the farm out there was um, was really something that that fit well with wrestling and I loved the sport from the very beginning and I remember coming home one night from wrestling practice and I asked my dad how far can you go in wrestling you know what's the best thing you can possibly do in wrestling I think I was five years old at the time and he said, well, you can become an Olympic champion. And I remember saying to my dad, well, then that's what I want to do. I want to be an Olympic champion. And he said, well, you can go as far as you want to go. And I remember that night when I went to bed, uh, my dad said, well, good night, champ. And that always stuck with me. Even though he never wrestled, he had a great insight and just a great perspective on the sport of wrestling. And obviously, being my dad, he knew me very, very well. Um, he created tremendous amounts of opportunity for me in terms of uh, going to, to camps, clinics, and tournaments. And he loved the sport, loved to discuss the sport. He was a pretty good strategist in the sport. And um, so he, he really provided a great opportunity. And my mom, just the two of them giving me all the opportunity in the world. You know, I can't thank them enough for doing that. Um, I didn't have a body type like John Smith, didn't have the intellectual uh, knowledge of the sport like Dave Schultz did, or didn't have some of the flair that maybe a Randy Lewis or somebody did, but certainly I could learn a little bit from each one of these athletes, and that was really what my dad said to do, is take all your favorite wrestlers, and for me, the 1988 Olympic team had a, a great impact on me. I used to watch the films and watch the matches, and I'd buy all the technique videos that those guys put out and just try to learn as much as I could from each of those individuals. And, um, and I think that that was really a great approach and, and my dad really came up with that idea. And I think any athlete can do that. And that was probably um, the most exciting part of the wrestling for me was the learning and what is this guy doing that I'm capable of doing? Because not all of it could I do and not all these things that this guy does am I capable of, but what things are they doing that I'm capable of? that can sort of shape me as an athlete and uh, help me be as successful as possible. When I was a junior in high school, the following summer, I came to the University of Iowa and attended their summer wrestling camps. And it was then that I realized that this is definitely the place that I'd like to compete for college. Um, just the environment, the atmosphere, the type of mentality that the coaches and the athletes had was something that really excited me and <clears throat> made me want to be a part of, of the things that were taking place at the University of Iowa. Coach Gable obviously with the success that he had, but as I looked around and saw the other coaches and the training partners I'd have for the next four years, I thought this is going to be a great environment to be successful in. Um, one of the things that I lacked in high school was I had, I had a great team and basically a good coach and a good support there, but the difference at Iowa from a high school or any high school was the fact that you'd have world-class athletes every day, every day to train with, and that really excited me. As far as counter offense goes in the world, Lincoln McElravey is the best there is. He's a natural at it, he's got natural ability, but his conditioning also makes it an asset. He keeps pressure on his opponents, forces them to take a shot, and when they do, he takes the opportunity into his hands and he scores. Without a doubt, he's one of the best counter offense wrestlers in the world. Not so much one technique that he does, it's just that he's, he's constantly in your face, constantly attacking you. And when he wrestles like that, he's very tough to beat. He's just really so intense, and, and that intensity is what really makes him better. Whether it's 10 seconds, whether it's 10 hours, you know, he's going to go hard and give everything he has. There is no way 
that in all the tough situations that we have in our sport, that that athlete that he's going to go against is ever going to beat him one-on-one -on -one in his mind. real dangerous from a lot of positions and I think that makes Lincoln such a great wrestler. He can shoot a single and score just as well as he can counter a single and score. His victory right now, Lincoln McElravey of the United States will win the bronze medal in this 152 pound weight class. His wife walks proudly down along Matt's side. McElravey earned his bronze medal with this critical third point, snapping the head, grabbing the lower leg and spinning around behind to victory. McElrevy wins the USA's fourth freestyle medal. It's bronze. Well, let's hear from Lincoln. Well, Lincoln, I saw you walked right over your boys. You have one medal for one of them. Now you're going to have to come back and get one for the other, don't you? Well, I don't know. That's a long time for a wrestler, four more years. Uh, I'd do anything for my boys, though. Uh, but anyway, you know, great to have them here. And right after the match, before it was even over, really, I was kind of looking for them. It just means a lot to me to have them here and great support. Your first Olympics, you go home with the bronze. Your thoughts on that? Uh, honestly, I never wanted a bronze medal. From the time I was five years old, I wanted gold. And that had to change this afternoon because I lost this morning. Um, so the best thing I could do was get the bronze. And I wanted to show America, uh, my family, my God, that I have a lot of heart and a lot of fight for them. Because um, I never wanted a bronze, but I know they all did. They wanted my best. And uh, that was really for them. After 1993, after my freshman year, my wife and I got married the following October. So I was just one year out of high school when, when my wife and I were married, my wife Lisa. And um, so, you know, not only the, the typical um, commitments that a college student has with academics and with athletics, but I also had uh, my wife Lisa with me now finally. And so, you know, my wife has been a great part of the support network and has been with me through um, all my college career and all my international career and we started to have kids um, about a month after my senior year the NCAA tournament so I realized early on that you know we've got four children and my wife and I are very committed to our family and realized that for us to have the kind of success we want to have as parents probably wrestling wouldn't be the best venue for that to take place just because of the time commitment and we decided to um, parlay all that I'd learned in wrestling and the relationships and, and the work ethic and all the skills that I'd learned in wrestling and, and to apply those to business. And we're in the hotel business now. We own the Comfort Suites in Coralville. And I've learned a tremendous amount through wrestling that um, directly correlates to success in business. In 1989, I was able to attend the Hall of Fame for the first time in my life. Um, and I remember walking in and seeing the granite with the faces on it, um, seeing the greatest wrestlers our country has produced over time. Um, and I just remember thinking, you know, how awesome is it to be able to see all these guys and see their credentials, see their accolades, get a glimpse of their story. Um, and really to be a part of that, to be considered among the greatest that, that have wrestled for our country is truly the greatest honor that we can have in wrestling. I'm, I'm, I'm humbled and honored. I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. Um, I'm amazed.